Welcome back, kids and coaches. My name is Joy Shout, and his name is Will Klein. And today, we're going to be going over the topic of. Hi, I'm Will Klein. <laughs> you guessed it. Stoichiometry. Stoichiometry. Oh boy. All right. So what you need to know, wandering into the field of this wonderful unit which is the easiest part of any chemistry course, just turn this around real quick, is your stoichiometry diagram. And now this little fella here is the bread and butter of the science world. So all you need to know is that if you're going from any unit to any other unit, this is gonna be your key. So say you have a mole of a substance and you wanna to get to the mass. All you have to do is multiply the molar mass by the moles of your substance and you get to the mass of the substance used in the reaction. Say you're given volume in the reaction. All you have to do to get back to moles is divide by 22.4 liters per mole, which is STP, and you'll get your moles. And then if you have moles of a substance and you want to get to the amount of molecules used, all you have to do, multiply by Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10. That's right, times 10. 23. Suck it in, get it in. That's the way to do it. Now, what we're going to do now, I'm going to hand it over to my assistant, William Bartholomew Hunt. Nope. Klein. Nope. Nope, not, and not my name. And he is going to show you some of the examples we have worked out today. These bad boys are how you do it, all right? Three examples, multiple steps, one result. An answer. Will, go ahead and take over. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So here, we are given two moles of H2O, but we want to find how many grams of H2O there are. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you find that. I mean, stoichiometry, of course. That's how you do it. See, you see, we have two moles of H2O, and if you look over here, moles to mass, molar mass. And the molar mass of H2O is just the combined molar masses of H, H, O, which is 18.02 or 18.016. That's delicious. And then you just multiply the moles by the molar mass and boom, your grams of H2O. That's it right there. Ingenious. That's the amount of grams in the reaction. And now we're going to move on to example number two, dealing with, you can see right there, molecules. So here, we are given molecules to start with mm -hmm. instead of moles. Show me how you do this one. 3.65 times 10 to the 13th molecules of Na. Mm -hmm. And we want to see how many moles of Na there are. You see, using Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, uh, we can figure out that we end up with 6.06 times 10 to the, you see it, negative 11 mo moles of sodium. You know, negative, that means it's super tiny. That is correct. Crazy. See how he did that? Recap. Two steps. Moles of your substance. Mol Divide that. Molecules. Molecules of your substance. Divided by molecules. Avogadro's number. Moles of your substance. <laughs> All right. So you see here for this final one, we're going to give you a single replacement reaction. Now this now, one can get tricky. I don't know if you guys have learned that yet, but we have because we're in AP chemistry. Yeah, that's right. So we are given magnesium and lithium oxide. That's right. And it turns into, you guessed it, magnesium oxide and lithium. That's correct. Oh my god. Make sure to balance your equation, kids. See how that do, they, they, oh my god, magnesium and lithium just switch. That's a good doohiggy right there. <sighs> All right, so we are given 7.5 grams of lithium oxide. Mm -hmm. You see, Li2O. That's right. And we want to know how many moles of lithium that gives us. That's correct. So, using the molar mass of Li2O, we determine how many moles there are. But since there's another step, we just use the mole ratio. Two moles of lithium for every one mole of lithium oxide. So that means two moles of lithium over one mole of lithium oxide. So you do this here equation, 7.5 grams of lithium oxide. Mm -hmm. What do you divide that by? Divided by 29.88 grams of lithium oxide. And what is that? You multiply that's, that's that again by mass. two moles of lithium oxide. Uh -huh. And you know what you get? You get one half mole of lithium. Or lithium. And that is... Uh, that is stoichiometry, boys and girls. That is stoichiometry. So, little recap. 
Will, go ahead, go ahead, and go ahead and film me again. This little doohiggy right here, most important piece of knowledge you can stick in that mass inside of your skull, this bad boy. And remember, the most important way to get good at stoichiometry, examples, examples. Practice makes perfect. Don't forget this bad boy either. You're gonna need this in the field, okay? Molar masses, protons, neutrons, electrons. And that's it, we're done. All right, we'll see you later, boys and girls, and this has been Will Klein and Jory Shelp. Goodbye.